As always, we'll start with declaring our object scope variables and note that for this to work past a proof of concept, we'll need individual power-ups for each player upon joining. Almost identical to the banana and converted to a generic event loop slash function, we have a loop to detect when a warthog picks up a power-up, triggering custom events when it does so. Since we're moving towards multiple random potential power-ups, we have a choose power-up function to decide which power-up is given to the player. For this example, I choose the shell, which is index 2, for demonstration purposes. Furthermore, since we cannot currently use variables to initiate area monitors, I made the power-up pickup logic generic and can feed any amount of power-ups into this function every 0.10 seconds. Like the banana, when the player marks, it changes the player's has power-up variable, changing the course of the show power-up event loop. On the initial show power-up iteration, we set the green shell on the back of the warthog and reset its rotation. Then call an event again with the init show loop var set to false. Then, while waiting for the user to mark and change the has power up variable, we set the velocity very fast towards the back of the cart and set its rotation to spin. Once the player marks, we check which power up the player is holding, then deploy it. In the deploy shell event loop, we have our first base case, which is a recursive function call concept for this event loop, checking if the shell deployed variable is still true to continue looping. If we are looping, we then check if it's the initial iteration. In that case, we set the shell to the front of the warthog and set some spin velocity. Note that the warthog's direction is saved to a shell deploy direction variable for later use. After the initial iteration, we check if a cart is inside the shell's area monitor. We use the lead's area monitor since its rotation is consistent. If the cart is hit, we halt the velocity and spin it. If no cart is hit, we propagate the green shell in the direction we saved in the initial loop iteration as well as spin the shell. We also have a cap of 20 iterations before we reset the green shell to avoid the shell moving indefinitely. If we hit the max deploy time or hit a cart, we reset various variables to allow the cart to pick up the next power up. To keep the carts on the slanted surface, I use area monitors to push the cart in the direction of the arrow by a specified amount and the number of each custom event. 